my name is Mona. I come from Romania, south of Romania, a, a city called Pitești. Um, I have been dreaming of this conference for five years and I'm finally here. This is the first time I'm uh, at IATEFL. I will definitely not miss it next year and the years to come. I'm really excited to be here. I'm learning so much and uh, the people that I meet and share all this knowledge and information with, everything is amazing. I feel blessed and I'm actually keeping a vlog, hoping to inspire other Romanian teachers to come to IATEFL in the future. So um, this has been my first time here in the IATEFL. Also your first time, Marcella? No, my second time. Your fourth, fourth time <laughs> and Rafael's second time in the conference. And uh, it's been really enjoyable and it's been great to see other teaching contexts and how it compares and contrasts to our own teaching contexts back in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Hi, my name is Arnaldo Griffin. I'm originally from New York and I moved to London approximately four years ago to pursue a master's in TESOL at UCL, Institute of Education. And I currently work in a foundation program and it is my first time at the conference uh, my experience thus far has been very positive, meeting new people, seeing familiar faces and friends unexpectedly. Hi, my name is Pierre Ganset. I'm originally from Paraguay. I um, moved to London five years ago and I've been teaching for 15 years, um, people of all ages and levels. This is my first experience at the conference and I found it very enlightening and positive, motivating as well. At the moment, I'm interested in teacher training and research. Hello, my name is Guadalupe Navarrete, and I'm from Mexico. And, and I moved to London six years ago. And um, I'm not teaching at the moment, but I have done this uh, conference three times in the UK. And I really, I really enjoyed the experience. Um, I teach uh, at specifically to adults, um, English to adults, and um, it's been very positive as well. And what I'm taking most out of this conference is probably this idea of uh, critical thinking. I think that unfortunately in Romania we have a lot of tendency to tell kids what to think and how to think and they just take it for granted whatever we tell them and they accept things without using their own critical thinking so a lot of like how to do it actually how to implement this in our context it is very much needed I've actually bought some books on this topic and attended some workshops and a forum very interesting things I'm taking away and also CLEL using uh, English um, and different contexts other subjects to, to teach things and um, global issues to teach global issues through English very much needed and I'm, I'm taking that with me back home. I am taking away um, is that technology is not, gonna, is not going to replace the, the teachers because it's have to work along with us. So we are there and then the technology is going to help the learns in, like the learners in the learning process, right? So this is what I'm taking from. The same thing for us. It's one. Ah, it's just, <laughs> I, it's one. <laughs> So I guess there are a lot of ways to answer the question in terms of future directions. I think that what's interesting is that the new wave and generation of younger teachers uh, and specifically the way that the world has changed in the past 20 years and how that affects these newer generations of people who may not even be aware of the whole world of IL Te IL Tefl and, and, the, and, and the world of um, teaching in general. So I think possibly a new direction would be to tap into this, this well of, of talent and, and this group, this new dynamic of possibly new teachers, new researchers who could possibly bring a whole enlightened or different perspective to the things that we've already done or, or have spoken about. Okay, particularly um, I believe there should be an articulation between old practices, new practices, uh, what's being researched, um, specifically in matter of technology and um, different um, backgrounds. In my opinion, it's and also uh, a lot of practice because I've seen a lot of theories 
but not taken into a practice sector and practice level. So teachers get to know a little more about you know theories and, and ideas, beliefs, but they are not really taking that into practice.